Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in Pro Cycling Manager 2017 with the parallel playthrough of the Tour de France 2017 and we are on stage 14 already. Oh, this is coming into the last third very soon and this stage looks exactly like made for uh, a special someone. And if this special someone, Alejandro Valverde, um, has a good race day condition, or even just a decent one, like zero or something, I think he will be uh, doing pretty well, because if you look at today's stage profile, you see it's just hilly at the towards the end, while it's flat in the front. Um, so first half is very flat, and then we move into hilly terrain. And the last little bit is actually pretty awesome. It is 570 meters long a climb towards the finish line, just 570 meters long, but an average gradient of 9.6%. So that will be pretty much Valverde territory, uh, something for the real punches in here. So this dude certainly will have a word to say as well. Mikhail Kwiatkowski, yeah. Uh, if I pronounce that somewhat right, I don't know, but uh, let's get into it. Stage 14 takes the peloton out of the Pyrenees to Blagnac, just north of Toulouse. The finish is in Rodez, after 181 kilometers across the roads of the Tarn and Aveyron. There is no major difficulty along the way, but the route is tiring, and riders must be sure to keep up their strength if they hope to edge clear on the final climb to the finish. At 600 meters, the Côte Saint-Pierre is not very long, but with a section at 12%, it offers a great opportunity to place a decisive attack. All right, we are all set up. Let's have a quick look here. Yes, this looks um, just like I expected, apart from what the hell is this flat bit there at the end? That doesn't seem quite right. Let's see how it actually plays out though. And I expect a breakaway to form pretty early. We start out now and then we just um, need to make sure that they are... N because we want to have the win today, we will probably help in chasing them uh, if we get to that. It is a pretty large breakaway today, which I don't like. Um, so maybe I should just use some of my guys here to keep it, keep it small. Yeah, we're working on it, keeping it at two minutes. We want to tire them out as much as possible. And so far we have been doing a, a very good job at the controlling really the peloton. So the just moment, look at it. Uh, two, two minutes on the clock, two minutes fifteen, always hovering around there. That means they haven't gotten away, there's no big gap, and then the chasing across these hills shouldn't be all too terrible. And now the other teams have also uh, fancied a stage win, it seems, as we are now chasing without us actually leading. So what we did there is just keep the gap on a very reasonable level. So just the right amount so that they can't jump across the gap, any any new SKPs, and keep the tempo up a little bit. And now we are going to chase them down. There are probably some strong riders in there too, so we shouldn't underestimate them um, or this group. But on the other hand, um, yeah, they should be pretty worn out already. Now we're in this little biting climb here, the and the peloton is riding super hard. But uh, not too worried about it because this climb is so short. Uh, so that's all good. And Valverde is doing amazingly well today. A plus two race day condition. Uh, I mean, we really need to work to, to uh, get to the finish line. Uh, with the escapees reeled in because he has a good chance to actually get some time today with this race day condition. I think those guys might be overdoing it a little though. Going up here at like 1, 170 for, for the average person. Uh, it's uh, somewhat over the top but as you can see we have reduced the gap from 3 minutes now down to 150 to uh, the escapees. And there's this one... Okay, uh, 2 minutes 20. Um, this is left of the stage. Quite challenging, not really that flat. Oh, we even had a, a break in the peloton here. Uh, they will come back though, because this is a little downhill section. and should be all good. I hope they can come back. A little Quintana is in there. 
Oh, and the green jersey is in there. Oh, that's interesting. <sighs> but looking at this situation and our current water levels with 30 kilometers left to go, I think I need to send a strong rider to the back to actually grab some. Because in this final... Yeah... That, that might be a little tough otherwise for any one of these. Uh, we are still riding at an immense pace. Alright, mission complete. Very well done. And now we are getting into the final bigger climb. Or final hill. And then it's all downhill until we reach the, uh, the lead-in. And we need to be all the way at the front there. But we have our team collected up front. So I'm not too worried about that. Oh, now they are moving super hard again. And there are the SKPs already. Okay. So this will indeed come to what I expected it to be. Oh, this looks like it might split off in a moment. And that, that wouldn't be good. That would indeed not be good. Um, how are these guys doing? I don't have my lead out with me right now. He's back here. He needs to accelerate. Oh, it's a split coming here. Uh, come on, guys. Accelerate already. Ten kilometers remaining. Ten kilometers remaining, yes. And now it's mostly flat and downhill. And we're trying to catch up with our lead out. And yeah, that's looking pretty good. He's getting through, I guess. Come on, come on, come on. Just six kilometers left. But they are downhill, so I think we actually need to pop our bars. Yeah, that might be the case. So all the bars are popping. And our lead out is in position. So now Valverde goes and connects here. Only five kilometers left. Uh, I really want to stay up front here. This is not good otherwise. We're still currently slightly protected. Um, but I think... Oh shit. They are all the way back there. Now, yeah, well, it doesn't really look like we can get to the front with him. Uh, no, no, it's not good enough positioning here. Okay, so we are in our lead-out train. And we need to save... No, we don't need to save anyone here. This is actually pretty awesome. Um, he needs to continue riding. We are up in front. And now, how far... How far left? Uh, let's get into the action slightly better. We need to start riding harder, though. Because now we're being caught. And this needs to be our lead out. He can hold on for a kilometer or two. So he can ride hard. He can ride really hard. Come on, don't, don't, don't get boxed in! For fuck's sake! Go over there! And what is... What is going on here? Like that it? You need to follow him. No, uh, there. Okay, now. This is looking good again. You need to really get moving now, though. Like 96. Uh, it's just so... Yeah, it's so little left. And we're already in the incline. And Valverde is almost boxed in here. Hmm. Just almost. The riders are in a portion above 10%. I just hope he can... Accelerate from here. This is this is the steep bit already. So I think Valverde actually needs to sprint. And the final sprint uh, is what the this fuck is, the is going on? Today. Oh Cutter shit! I have the wrong rider. Valverde, sprint! No! 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 Great stuff! Teamwork really paid off, and their sprinter brings home the bacon. I fucked it up. I clicked the wrong rider sprint button. <laughs> that was not uh, how it was planned to happen. Uh, yeah. Well, and there we have another failure. But uh, not a too bad, bad failure. We could have probably won the stage with him. Although Dan Martin seemed to be uh, very, very good today too. He had quite the punch at the end. For the general standings, nothing really has changed, and that climb certainly was too small to make a big difference against those riders that uh, managed to finish up front. So, um, yeah, it's all good, all good. It's just a shame that we didn't get more points for the for the sprint jersey. Oh, now we did! Oh, now we are actually in reach. If we uh, get another few good placements, and maybe a bit of a gap, 
uh, even to, to those guys, then the green jersey might be within range. Anyway, that is um, a question for another time, though, if we manage to get that or not. And I hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next time. <laughs>